intense? Mm, probably <laughs> an understatement. Oh, yes. Whenever we talk about that final leg of the eliminations in the men's division of the Volleyball Nations League. Now, after a roller coaster of a week, we had our analysts pick out their favorite moments at the VNL held here in the Philippines. Now, here to discuss their picks are Volleyball analysts. That's right, hindi muna siya host, okay? Zia Hervasho okay. and Ayel Estranero gotcha. joining us here today. <laughs> the girls, uh, I had the pleasure to call a game with you, Ayel, and uh, mm -hmm. I had a couple under my belt. You did a couple, you did a couple. I cannot begin to describe the environment, the atmosphere. Ooh. Ayel, you first. How did it feel <laughs> to be there, see everything, and work around all, all of this? It was overwhelming. Honestly, oh, I yes. feel like I'm still on a VNL high. You mm. know, again, in my previous interview, I would always say, you, you rarely get a chance to watch these players live and to actually witness a world-class competitive volleyball. Yeah, Z, you know, we were talking about the quality uh, in the past and just seeing it, sometimes it's still hard to believe yes. that we saw that type of volleyball played yes. so much here in the country. That's right. I mean, last year, I also covered the, some matches, but I don't know, this year, it's, it's something different. different. I guess because we already had a taste yeah. last year, so we know to, what to expect mm -hmm. this year. Plus, parang nadagdagan pa siya mm. ng intensity, mm. ng pagiging ka roller coaster, mm -hmm. as you mentioned earlier. So, yeah. it was such an experience. It was a treat, definitely. You know, you talk about roller coaster here. Uh, a lot of people rode the roller coaster that is uh, the Japan fandom. Oh, and goodness, a lot yes. of it came to a, to a head during that Italy game in particular. Yeah. Of course, a streak breaking there. Italy was coming off a three game win streak. The confidence was there, pressure a bit on Japan. Mm. Uh, what do you make of that game? And of course, uh, the atmosphere and yeah. everything around it. You know, I was going to say, more than the game that we expected to be really good, it was really the atmosphere, the fans being so active, yeah. participating in all the activities, cheering for their own squad, for their own players, just being there also witnessing it as part of the audience was just I think just really memorable as you know I, I played vo volleyball but also I'm a fan of the sport so it's oh, yes. just great to be part of the audience absolutely so you take a look at this Italy and Japan game and it's uh, the great thing about the Venus we see so many contrasts in styles and mm -hmm. Z yes we all we a lot of people say that oh we can relate to Japan because they're in right. they're they're not the tallest team and here you're there we saw them go against Italy who took advantage of their height, their size, yes. blocking numbers by 13 to 4 in favor yes. of Italy against Japan. Uh, just talking about the style of play, uh, how was that for you? I mean, it's not even the style, mm -hmm. but it's the execution. Yeah. Earlier, Ayel and I were talking about how, um, you know, it's really execution. Like, you're not surprised that they're gonna do these wonderful things, but to do it at a consistent yes. rate. Yeah all throughout the matches, it's insane. Yeah. Like, I've, I remember covering uh, Italy, and sabi ko talaga, grabe, blocking talaga mm. is their For main men's. thing. For yes, yeah. Italy. And then, what I also noticed about them is control mm. ng bola. Yeah. Like, kahit jungle ball, kahit yeah. tumasik, like, kahit ganong, anong parte ng katawan mm. yung sinalo nila, pinansalo nila yeah. sa bola, parang, Nagagawan pa rin ng paraan, si set na papalo yeah. ng maayo. So, that Italy versus Japan match was really something to look out for. And, uh, I mean, as much as the Japanese fans are sad, but that was a solid match. Yeah. That, was a solid game. That, was a solid that was a solid game for sure. Yes. Now, we're gonna talk a lot more about Japan in just a bit, pero siempre, we have to talk about the other teams that did shine and some that may be disappointed, at yeah. least ranking wise. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that Brazil China game yeah. uh, that we had the pleasure of doing. At least Brazil, we felt that they needed yeah. a victory like yeah. that, considering the troubles mm -hmm. that they mm -hmm. had prior to that one. You know, they're we talked about Italy earlier. They've swept their games here in the Philippines, yeah. and uh, you know we expected the same with Brazil because uh, they are a powerhouse as a team. But then uh, they were a bit, you know, up and down here in the Philippines. They lost against Italy and uh, Poland, but they won against Netherlands and uh, China. They right. entered third in the rankings. They finished sixth, you know, but although they weren't at their best form here in the Philippine leg, it's still so nice to actually 
watch, you know, the the legends that they have in their lineup. Yeah. Bruno, you have Lucarelli, you have Lucas also, one of their middle blockers. So, again, it's just the same feeling. It's amazing to watch them play live. I just want to reiterate to everyone out here, these girls are also fancy. <laughs> Ayel was, yes. uh, she was so excited to just see Bruno in action. <laughs> Yan uh, that's lang I think that's also all I can say. But, uh, Z, you take a look at uh, going back to Japan. Apart mm -hmm. from the fact that the Philippine fans love them. You go to that game against the Netherlands. See, the one-two on the Rani Shida. Yes, I mean, I'm so sad that we can't show you tonight, but we'll post it so you guys can see it. But oh my God, again, it's yeah. execution. It was um, Ran receiving. It, it wasn't even like the conventional mm -hmm. passes anymore. It's like he stuck out his arms, dug it up. There you go. <gasps> yes, there you go. So he dug it up. He dug it up. Bahala na si Lord kung saan pumunta. Isakto kinishida. Perfect set. Tapos napalo. I mean, nobody saw it coming. I don't think anybody did yeah. except for them, siguro. But, oh my God, execution, once again. So yeah. precise. It's precision mm -hmm. talaga. Very Japanese. Yeah. Very on brand. And I on, love it. And to add to that, <laughs> I remember us watching uh, one of the games also on... Uh, um, live, live stream, and then one of the analysts, international analysts, was saying that the play that the, Jap the Japanese would usually have, we need to have a name for that already. Yes. Because they keep on doing it, other teams does it also, so parang there should be a name for it. So what would you suggest? I don't know. Maybe I'll give you a suggestion. You have no suggestions it feels yet. like a super science thing, but like, <laughs> when I think about that, it's football. Eh. Yeah. So, I don't know. We'll probably ask them to name it. It's yeah. theirs to name. Right? Yeah, you know, or the fans can name it. And again, yes. talking about the fans, uh, the fans were incredible. We've seen a lot of interactions also. Um, oh, yes. You wanted to mention something about a Polish player whose yeah. name I will let you pronounce. Yes. Sure. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah, Kurek? Bartosz Kurek. Yeah. yeah, you were mentioning it. You know, um, volley, Volleyball World actually posted that video of him I, surprising I a too. fan. And there. that sort of made me tear a little because you know as a fan also imagine that feeling you have uh, the person you've been idolizing right beside you not and just that giving yes. you a ball with a signature oh my god yeah and hyping it, her up yeah. I, i'm getting goosebumps right now Grabe. And, Grabe. and you know i'm sure there have been a lot more interactions that we can go through but unfortunately we don't have a lot of time but hopefully we can see them come back really Hopefully. really soon again uh, the bid the bid is on for yes. uh, more vnl here in the country